about it, y'all. Right now I'm on uh I'm on the line with Square. And I don't know if any of y'all are ever familiar with uh Square, but it's an application that you could take uh transactions to get, you know, money off of. And right now I'm very disappointed with with their business and I've been with them for two years. But I made a big transaction over the weekend. Now I'm having problems getting my money out of them. And I'm not talking about hundreds of dollars right now, I'm talking about thousands of dollars. And uh, I'm very disappointed in what they what they got going on. And, uh, all of the headache and blue tape that they're taking me through to get my money, you know. And uh, if I knew it was going to be this problem, I would have never even done it. But the only reason why I done it, I sold. Well, I'll tell you why I done it. I sold the bass boat that I had, and the guy really wanted the boat right then and there, but the banks wasn't open. It was holiday weekend. So I decided to use the Square application, you know, to sell them the boat to get my money. Now, had I known it was going to be this bad and I was going to have to go through all of this, I would have made them wait. And uh, because this ain't this ain't worth the headache that they're giving me right now to run around. So I've asked to speak to a supervisor, and right now I'm online. They got me on hold. I've been on hold for about 45 minutes, and the person who's been trying to help me out is not 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 helping me out at all. So I'm very disappointed with Square. And this is my review on Square, and they will not get any of my business anymore. Um, business transactions, that's over with. That's not happening. I'm very disappointed with this application. Like I said, this is hundreds of dollars on the line. This is thousands of dollars on the line right now. And I am frankly very unhappy and pissed off about the whole situation. And I got, I'm waiting to speak to a supervisor right now. So and I've been on hold for 45 minutes. And I'm just pissed off about this whole this whole transaction. Like I said, it was my fault. I shouldn't have done it, but had I known that they was gonna put me through such such a headache, I wouldn't have never even done it. And I was actually gonna refund the guy's money back. But they're saying it's gonna take about seven to 10 days for that to even go through. So seven to 10 days with this coronavirus and economy stuff going on, I can't even take that chance. At least I know that the money's in my account right now. Worst case scenario, I'm just going to have to upload all these documents and information that they're wanting me to upload to get my money back. This is unbelievable. Now, apparently, I asked to speak to a supervisor, but there's no supervisor on uh, in the plant, in the facility. So how are you guys operating? You don't even have uh, a supervisor or anything of that nature in, in your management. So this is a bunch of horseshit, if you ask me. So Square will never get my business again. Which I understand, you know, you have to take uh, precautions because of fraudulent activity. But man, I've been with y'all for, what, three, four years now. Yeah, I've been with them three, four years and um, never had, uh, never had any problems up until up until right now, which I do understand, yes, this isn't a normal transaction that I always, that I always go through, but. But if I gotta be scrambling like this to get my money, then I'm not gonna do it. And plus, not to mention, I'm losing almost 400 bucks here for something that, why should I wait? Why should I give y'all 400 bucks of my money and I could have just waited for two or three days and got the whole, got the whole spill, you know. I would have never even done that. And like I say, the guy really wanted and he wanted to take his kid fishing. So I was like, you know, what the hell? I do it that way. But I never do it again. That's, that's that's my fault.
Yeah, I'm here. Yes, sir. Thanks so much for holding me patient. Um, so what I can go ahead and do is I can go ahead and send you an email again. Um, and then you can go ahead and respond back to that email um, with whatever it is that you want to go ahead and say. Because like I said before, um, our uh, supervisors don't have any phone support, so you'll be able to go ahead and send them an email. Um, you know, like I said before, they're going to give you the same information. Look, right now, ma'am, 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 right now I'm not interested. I'm not interested in phone support. I'm interested. I'm interested in, 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 in talking to a supervisor about how piss poor the the square application and system is that's what i'm interested in talking about that's why i'm wanting to talk to a supervisor yes sir yes sir i understand that okay so you can go ahead so what you can go ahead and do is you can send an email in um to our support line at square at, uh, at support at squareup.com um and then you'll be able to go ahead and send that email in and then uh someone will go ahead and be in contact with you do their email about, uh, you know, what's going on and, and how you feel about the application and the process and things of that nature. Fuck Square. I never use y'all again. And I'm advising everybody else out there, uh, do not use this application unless you want to get scrambled up with your money. Do not use Square. Square is some bullshit. The application is Square. You just heard the conversation. You just heard what I got going on. Like I say, this is thousands of dollars on the line. This isn't, you know, a hundred dollars. So I'm not never using Square again. I'm recommending all of you guys out there, don't use Square. It ain't worth it unless you want to be uh, dicking around trying to get your money back out the application. So fuck Square. I ain't using y'all again.